Today's episode of The Mom Game is brought to you by our friends at Gateway Buick GMC at LBJ and Jupiter. I know that buying a car can be stressful, but not at Gateway because their slogan is Gateway's got it. And just what does that mean? Well, it means Gateway's got a wide selection of new Buicks, GMCs, and GM certified used vehicles, all competitively priced. Gateway's got it. In these busy times, you want a car dealer who makes things easy and convenient. Well, guess what? Gateway's got it. When you log on to gatewaybuickgmc.com, look for the shop, click, drive button. This allows you to shop from the comfort of your home, and who doesn't want that? In fact, it's as easy as one, two, three. One, select your vehicle. Two, create your offer. Three, schedule your delivery. And on top of all this, Gateway Buick GMC offers complimentary car washes for life. So when you want a dealer who has it all, Gateway's got it. You can find them online at gatewaybuickgmc.com or shop in person at LBJ and Jupiter. GMC, we are professional grade. Experience the new Buick. Welcome into episode 117 of The Mom Game. I'm Emily Jones. She is Julie Dobbs, and we are together again. We are. Yeah. We, it's it's always so exciting. It's been a little bit. It has been a little bit. Yeah. We've got, it's summer. Hey. You were on the road. On the road. Then yep. you went on vacation. Yes. Um, yeah, it's summer, so we have some special guests coming up a little bit later mm-hmm. in the show. Mm-hmm. Uh that I birthed a couple of guests that I birthed. You did, yes. Henry and Hattie McCoy will be. They're the only guests in that the studio we'll ever have that you've. Birthed. That, that, hopefully, this is the only. Yeah, it's, that's yeah. We've taken. <laughs> they're very unique. Very drastic measures to ensure that there are no more guests <laughs> okay, that I good. birthed. Okay, trust good. me. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. So where should where should we start? Should we start with? You want to start with your little fun little trip with your fake beach that looks super cute. Yeah. Well. And then we've got to get into the end of Henry's baseball season. Yes. Um, so which, yeah. where do you want to go? Uh, sure. We'll start with that. I just got back from, uh, well, I had my birthday. That's I'm, right. Oh gosh. Duh. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thanks. How old? It's 30 okay. something. What are you? Seven. Okay. Well. See? 37. Yeah. Oh, like you're getting there. 37 is like, you know. This is when you start planning the 40th. I know. Yeah. It's I mean, not really, and, but and you start mentally preparing for being forty, and then like all that yeah. entails, I guess. Um, I don't know your bladder control these days. Like, is that? I feel like <laughs> not <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, well, not good. It's not going to get any but better. Let I, me tell you that. I feel like that is more like post kids than age. No, you're you right. know, it, is. it I don't definitely know. is. I mean, yeah, I know. There are just so many times that I just feel old AF, and I can't. Isn't it sad? I'm not cursing a lot because my kids are listening outside. Are they? I thought they were. They might not be listening. Okay. But, you know, it's a big deal when mom cusses. Like yeah. it's, and we all know I cuss I know. a lot. Yeah. So I try to limit. You brought my, them into your world. I did. So I try to limit my cursing around my kids. Mm-hmm. Um, they may tell you different. I can't wait to get them in these seats and see what kind of truth bombs they drop. But, mm-hmm. um, so I'm, if I, if anyone's wondering like, God, Emily's mouth sure is cleaned up today. Well, there's a very good reason. There's a good reason. Yeah, there's a very good reason. <laughs> but um, yes, you just feel old. Yeah. It's, like, it's just like, like everything, like Henry's baseball game last night, I'm sitting on the bleachers and like, I get up and I'm like, Oh, like it takes me a weird? while and it takes just like stretch out and I'm like, I was just sitting down. Yes. Now, granted, it's a metal bleacher. Bleachers are bad for old people. sitting down. (laughs) And like, you know, I just can not I try to like play it off. Like I don't look like an old lady, but yeah, whatever. So yeah. yeah, So now you're 37. 37. Yeah, definitely. Like woke up with a little extra back pain. I'm like, I see. uh, It's funny because it's a real evolution of turning into your mom and like turning into that next level iteration of yourself yeah and i've yeah. i've decided like the older you get like that's why people turn into like start doing all the hippie stuff mm-hmm. and i'm kind of becoming more hippie because you have to it's like i'm all about like yoga and like trying to right. do some sort of meditation and then like wearing that flowy clothing brand that fl- <laughs> it's called flax <laughs> It's called flax. Yeah. Flax. My mom used to always wear flax and I used to like be there in my little crop top, like, Oh mom. Like that is so, uh, that is one thing I'm fighting. I'm not, I'm not in on the flowy clothes. Yeah. Well, well you don't need to be. Well, (laughs) no, I, that's one thing I'm like fighting pretty hardcore, like bikinis and 
flax. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, I almost bought at our at these little pop up shops over the weekend. There was this. It was like a flax like knockoff. <laughs> So this is a brand <laughs> yeah. called Flax, yeah, which is so appropriate because, like, isn't flaxseed like a big player when we get you older? Know, like, isn't it flaxseed important or something? It's probably F L A X. Yeah, I've never heard of this brand. You haven't? No, Flax. Yeah, and so my mom like loves some of the stuff is really cute. Like, it's popular at Chico's. Like, they go hand in, <laughs> they go hand in hand. Flax. Are you shopping at Chico's? No, I'm not shopping at Chico's. Okay. I mean, I don't really shop anywhere in person yeah, same um but yeah i almost bought like a big flowy dress that was like a hundred dollars and i was like no don't do it like don't yeah but but i do i do feel like you just slowly morph into i'm like now i understand why everyone was like yeah. or why people are so obsessed with all this like holistic shit and flowy shit it's because they're getting old yeah. and like things hurt and you've got love handles and you gotta <laughs> hide it and you gotta try to make the things not hurt and i'm doing all of that i'm getting old uh, this is amazing but well, it, it is a little bit also of like a like kick in the ass like okay you don't have to you don't have to start going all the way that direction like well because i feel like getting this, we're kind of at the age where things can can spiral pretty quickly yes <laughs> you know <laughs> it's like spiral Shit can get out of control real yeah, fast. It can. So, yeah, I know. I know. It's. So I'm trying to also, like, yeah, there. use it as, like, a new kickstart. Yeah, good. I'm going to run so six instead miles of like every morning the- like you. <laughs> <laughs> but so instead of maybe, like, having a New Year's resolution, maybe this is your, like, a reset. Yeah, you like know? 37. Like, Halfway through the year. Like, you know, I've been, like, sort of getting a little better, a little better. But now it's, like. You don't want to go down. Right. Let's just, let's try to let's just keep, keep going s- up. It's just a steady climb. Exactly. Steady climb. Steady climb. Okay. All right. So how was, the, where did, where's the place you went with the fake beach? It was uh, very confusing to a lot of people. Um, it is called, it's in Eufaula, Oklahoma. So okay. it's only a three hour drive oh, from nice. here up, up 75. Like so easy. Yeah. So three and a half <laughs> hour drive to the ocean. Yes. To the, beach. to the fake ocean. Okay. Um, so we went with two other families, the same people we went to Kauai with. So we okay. like all, but last time we obviously didn't have kids when we went to Kauai. This time we brought all of our kids. So there were seven kids in the house. Um, but the other family lives in Kansas city. It's funny. It's Kansas city people, but it's not like my Mizzou friends, Kansas city, it's Kansas city. Cause it's my girlfriend's cousin and his family, um, that are from there. And so they were looking for somewhere like in between to meet, uh, their, my friend Meg and her family. And they came up with this place. And so I had never even heard of it. It was about five hours for them from Kansas city, three hours for us from Dallas. And it's called Carlton landing. Okay. Um, and so it's, uh, the same people that do, or like that did, like, uh, seaside and okay. Rosemary beach. Okay. So that same like concept, vibe, that concept where it's a little cute community and you know, all the little beautiful little houses and the boardwalks and the white picket fences and the big front porches and everything like that. Um, but no beach, right. but there was a lake. And so okay. we could have rented boats and like gone and done the whole lake thing. We didn't do that. We, we tried and they didn't email back and it was like, we don't care that much. Yeah. Um, but there's three pools. So it's like a big lake. Like, yeah, but yeah, lake like you could, is giant. It is. It's okay. a giant lake. Never heard but of they, it. I well, I know it's like we're in our own little bubble here uh-huh. in Texas, where I'm like, well, I don't want to need to go to Oklahoma for anything unless like I'm going to OU because Kelly went there. You know, right, to go right, back right. for something or whatever. Um, so it was really cute though. It was really fun. And it's, it's sometimes you don't want to get on a plane and pack and but some, like at this age, my, our kids don't really care. I mean, I'm sure if I had spent all the money and taken to the beach, I would say that they cared that it's really cool. Right. But I'm like, Anna's, you know, four, like there's water and there's sand, sand. and she doesn't know that it's lake yeah. water or ocean water. It was cute though. Cause she's like asking all about whales and sharks. I was like, eh. Good news, Anna. <laughs> no you're, sharks. You're safe. <laughs> you're safe. You are safe. You're safe. Yeah. Lake you follow. Lake you follow Oklahoma. Yeah. So, uh, and they had like a cute movie in the park at night and all the little fun activities and pop-up shops and live music, you know, it was really cool. Um, so I'm putting it on my short list of, of places to go when you're just looking for like a weekend or long weekend okay. getaway. And they, I like it. They didn't like pay me to say all that, but they, they didn't. I know. No kidding. But it was fun. Um, it's fun to discover new fun places driving distance. Oh, for sure. Yes. That's like how like Broken Bow, Oklahoma has yes. completely blown up. It has. Um, and that's just like an outdoorsy type. Yeah. You know, I feel like more people go there in the, you know, we went there and 
January, December, or Jan, December. Yeah. Um, like winter months and like hiking and I don't know. Um, but yeah, that place has blown it has. up for sure. Yep. Um, okay. So good. So that was that. Good yeah. fun time. Yep. Good fun time for your birthday. Getting old in a fake beach. That's my update. There we go. How about you? Um, so just finished a stretch of 13 straight, um, for work for the Rangers. And, um, so it's just been, it's a lot and it's stressful and it's kids are out of school and there's a lot of moving parts and Henry was still finishing up his baseball season. And so we're taping early this week on a Monday. So this Sunday night, I, we go, well, Sunday morning we go, okay, first of all, the rains happened. It was stuff got canceled. This was his last tournament. And so he was, you know, obviously very disappointed. The games on Saturday got canceled Well, they're like, okay, we're going to do one game tournament on Sunday. One day, sorry, one day tournament. And it's going to be in Ennis. Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with where Ennis is? I have a friend, I know somebody that's from Ennis. Uh-huh. So basically I like drove out there once. Louisiana yeah, it's is far. what you feel like. Yeah. And so 9 a.m. Sunday morning, he plays his first game. Oh my gosh. He wins. Um, I go to work. I come back. He's played another game. And then we still have, they win another game. They win that one. And then championship game, which started at 10 Oh five p.m. Oh my gosh, ten oh five. Whoa, yeah. How are those boys still going at that I'd, point? Listen, when he, wait, Henry might come in here in a minute and we can do a fall post asleep. post game. Show. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, but it was. I was glad I got to see his last tournament of, for the season. Um, he had a great semifinal game, championship game. We ran into a kid. They played eleven U. They're a ten U team, but they played up, and they played this kid. He was throwing sixty five miles an hour. Oh my gosh. It is, it was like, uh, what's going on here? 65 miles an hour this kid was throwing. And he was a great pitcher. He, he was great. Uh, I would have to ask him, probably yeah. 50s. 50s is more like yeah. kind of It's more the speed, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you got somebody that's throwing 65, you're, you're, you're not going to, that. you're They're not going to yeah. you're not gonna get a lot of hits off that. Yeah. But anyway, it was super fun and, um, you know, glad I got to see it. But like, we got in at 12.45 in the oh morning. Gosh. I mean, it was just... Were y'all, did you have some wine? Uh, no, I was exhausted. Yeah. I popped a couple early birds. <laughs> early bird gummy. I uh, put on my Lincoln Lawyer <laughs> show, watched the last episode, and I was out. Uh, okay. So, yeah. So now I can feel like I can kind of breathe a little bit. But the summer does get crazy because you've got... And I don't know if your kids are like in the same camps, but now my kids are hardly going to any camps I mean, they go to overnight camp together, but like other than that, you know, Henry's at TCU football camp and then we're going to Lubbock for this deal at at Tech uh, this week. Hattie's got this camp or, you know, softball or baseball or basketball, whatever. They're just a lot. There's just a lot of moving parts. Yes. Um, But and then I think to myself, sometimes I'm like. I didn't ever go to any fucking camps when I was young. I didn't go to camps like my sister and I literally hung out at our house all day and like did random stuff. I mean, we would play video games or we, and we would cook lunch and you know, we just didn't. So I'm like, you know, maybe I should stop over camping. I know. But then I'm like, then, then what are they going to do? Be at home all day. And am I going to have to entertain them and be on their devices? Am I a terrible mom for even saying these things out loud? Like we think about, we think through everything way too much. I know. Yeah, I think everybody's over camped that. Yeah. There's, I mean, if you, I sent you my childcare calendar, it was insane. It made my brain hurt. It's Yeah. It's the really good thing nice. about camps, though, is if you do find people like carpooling, carpooling you can do all the carpooling. Is a bonus. Yes, but um, but yeah, Ryder had a couple camps, and Anna didn't have a camp this week, and then I like panic camped her yesterday. <laughs> I was like, duh, because she was starting to get a little bit like uh-huh. jealous that he was going in the morning. But she's just she just turned four. So like, yeah. she, there aren't all the sports camps right. and stuff. But so what, what, what panic camp did you sign up for? I panic signed her up for an expensive cheerleading camp <laughs> <laughs> that it was like such a panic that it was like, oh, bye. Who yeah. cares? You know, it. she has another cheerleading camp in two weeks that is at a church and like a sweet one, but this is like, this is a a, hardcore, a hardcore like cheer place. But I mean, therefore there's going to be a lot of games and stuff. Yeah. So she was really excited, but, but yeah, I was trying to leave some gaps intentionally, but then I find myself feeling like I need to fill all the gap. Right. Yeah. Which is stupid. I'm with you, sis. I'm with you. Trust Mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Uh, okay, we need to sports sports it. Yeah. Let's do lots of sportiness to talk about. We Um, do. And we're happy to have Bottle Rover! Bottle Rover is back uh, on Rover. the mom game, and we are stoked. Back in action. I actually used you them. <laughs> I loved it. It was like Memorial Day, wasn't it? It was Memorial Day, and somehow we had not thought through 
I think I think what's what's coming up in our household is that Kelly is buying vodka and I used to drink a lot of vodka and I still do. But now I like tequila okay. because I'm into the range waters. and I just feel like I don't know something that is a little bit healthier or whatever. Um, and so when he goes, he's buying himself vodka. Okay. But I've I've switched a little bit. And so anyways, I open up the pantry on Memorial Day and I'm like, oh. There's and no I tequila. have a day where like all we have planned is just to, we decided not to do this or that or go to the club. We were like, let's just stay home. Let's grill and let's just lounge. And my kids are like two to three hour windows of swimming and then they go and watch a show. So I'm like, I knew I was going to have some good time alone to yes. like float and hang out. So um, I didn't panic. I called the bottle Rover and it was so easy and seamless. You have the app on your phone. You click on what you want. They find a liquor store that's nearby and our booze arrived within an hour. Like, I think it was maybe an hour and a half. Like yeah. it was so quick and so easy. Uh, didn't even have to like get up from my freaking float. Like I could just do do do. And then there was a delivery. I think <laughs> we actually sent like a child to answer the door. Oh, good. Nice. <laughs> and then, or, no, we didn't. It was, uh, Kelly was like, when, when this man comes to the door, come yell at me. That's what he said. Yeah. So, so he went and answered the door and I didn't even get up. Uh, but bottle Rover is, is clutch and we're trying to help them just get the word out because it is a good local company. There's other companies, but it's better to support somebody that, you know, the people we've had Corey on, um, the COO of bottle Rover. And we're excited to have them back on board. You get free delivery. This is, I'm kind of burying the lead. It's free delivery. It is local. We like that, but it's better than the others because you have free delivery on any order over $50, which is super easy to hit. Um, you just, yeah, search, browse your favorite beer, wine, or spirits from your mobile device, and it's delivered to your door. You can schedule it out if you know you're going to want something in a couple of days. Um, or you can do it immediately like I did if you have a panic moment. But um, make sure you start using Bottle Rover. And um, we're happy to help spread the word for them for another session, another few months here Absolutely. on the show. And, and yeah. we're going to get creative with them, too. So we saw Panic panic Camp sign up and Panic Tequila purchasing. What, what's the common theme That's here? A, panic. <laughs> lots, not, not planning and panicking. Lots, lots of panic. <laughs> uh, okay, so sportsy Matt, we've talked since Mavs and Stars have both been done. Yeah. yeah. So those Do you are kind watching of the put to bed. NBA, are you watching the finals? No, I mean, it's been Not during either. games. I mean, I'll like, if it's on and I'm home, I'll turn it on for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not like watching it religiously. Same with the NHL playoffs. I'm just kind of like keeping up with who's still alive. Yep. Um, maybe I know. Stanley Club, Stanley Club, Stanley Cup playoffs or like, I mean, finals. The final. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah kind of the same. It's like once our teams are out, yeah. I, especially when you're watching the teams that beat your teams, like Golden State, I'm like, yeah. I can watch them. Yeah. I mean, but like, like you said, I'll have it on too. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't, stars haven't made any moves yet when it comes to the coaching staff, yeah. uh, general manager. We're still kind of standing by to see what happens there. Um, we, I did fill in at the ticket last week, 10 to three, and we had Tyler Sagan on. Uh, with the you asked Jake. such a good question that it got a lot of play Thank out you. of Taylor. Thank you, you. Tyler. Tyler what is wrong with me. <laughs> um, I know it's always funny when they're like, Hey, Julie, Tyler's on. I want to ask him a question. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. Um, but I did genuinely wonder about his thoughts on the coaching situation. And, and he had a really good answer just about how much everybody loved Rick bonus and how much he, um, had impacted the players as men and as people. Yeah. And you saw that with Ben Bishop, um, after, Ben Bishop retired and he was crying, talking about how much Rick bonus meant to him. Like there's just something about him that he's just an awesome guy. And what, how gratifying for him to hear yeah, those things. I think it's so. got, because you know, more than anything, I think, you know, as, as a coach or as a player, you want to be respected by your, your colleagues and your peers. And I think in this case, you know, the people who you've been like, kind of in charge of, yeah. you know, that that's gotta be the ultimate compliment for sure. For him. And you could argue that goes farther than like, you know, what you're doing on the ice for sure. Um, for them. So that was cool to hear him say that. And then he also said, you know, he said we had the, the coach that really preached offense and there wasn't enough defense. And now we've been nailing down the defense and everyone told Jamie and I that we need to 
be better defensive forwards. And so we really did. And we didn't score as much, but we were focusing on, you know, getting back and playing harder. And, and now we need scoring. Checking. And, and so it was interesting to hear Tyler say that he's like, we kind of did what they told us to do. And that still didn't work. Right. So um, he was very candid about it. And yeah. uh, they, need, they need a few more pieces. They need a few more pieces. Like. Yeah. yeah. So, so it'll be interesting. I bet we get something in the next week or two. I mean, you kind of have to, because I think the coach will want to make sure that they have some sort of say in the, like if, cause Jim Nill has one more year on his deal. So right. it's kind of like, do we bring a new coaching staff in to work under a GM that only has one year? Right. Or do we extend them or all of that? So I yeah. think that's like what the holdup is right now with the stars. But, um, but yeah, we'll see if there's any movement there. Yeah. No movement with the Mavs. I mean that, that, I mean, I don't no. think anything will happen. I mean, obviously Jason Kidd and his staff will stick yeah. around and you know, they need to add some pieces too to compliment Luca, but you know, it's just kind of a, now we're entering the season where it's a little bit of a downtime until the Cowboys go yep. to camp. Mm-hmm. Um, and really a chance for the Rangers to, to shine, re-engage with a fan base that's mm-hmm. been pretty disenchanted, mm-hmm. if that's a word, um, mm-hmm. the last it is. couple of seasons. And, um, you know, they were playing so good and we got to 500 and I was so excited. And then we were there for one day and we haven't been back yet. So how many games under now? They're three under, which is okay. painful because yesterday, Sunday, finale against the, who are we playing? The Mariners. Mm-hmm. And three run lead in the ninth. And our regular closer, Joe Barlow, was not available because he had pitched back-to-back days. And Matt Bush gave up three runs in the bottom, or in the top mm-hmm. of the ninth. That hurts. And then we went to extra innings. And that's a game. Like, I mean, there's some games where it's like some dude just owned you. Like, he's just had nasty stuff. and ball, But this was like, you had it right there. Yeah. And so that would have made them one game under 500, put them in a second place tie for second place in the division, which listen, the Astros are running away with it, but the angels have lost 11 straight. Like it's, so it was like, it could have been this really good, like momentum. Yeah. Right before you leave town. But yes, but they, um, they're entering a straight in the month of June, they play since the Rays left because the Rays have a winning record, obviously. But since they left in the month of June, they have one series against a team with a winning record right now. And that's the Astros. Okay. So you have an opportunity if you can take advantage. Yeah, you throw of, all the records out for the silver boot. You got to throw them out. I mean, you've that you're talking about one of the most coveted trophies in all of sports. Exactly. The silver boot. Exactly. I mean, I don't well, even. I think they have a shot there. You're right. You're right. Because throw the records out. <laughs> um, so anyway, so a chance they're calling up some young guys. I mean, you've got Josh Smith made his big league debut. Ezekiel Duran made his big league debut. Oh. Steel Walker made his big league debut. Okay. Three different guys made their big big league debut. Memorial the week of Memorial Day. So the last week of May, I mean, so it's, they're, they're like, look, we're going to see what these guys have. Um, Ezekiel Duran skipped triple a went, came straight from double a, he will probably not be up for an extended period of time, mm-hmm. but they, you know, they're like, look at, look, if they, if these guys start setting the world on fire in this small sample that we're getting, let bring it, let's go. Like we're trying to figure out, you know, who, what are, what are winning pieces to this yeah. organization. Yeah. And, and that's so exciting for fans. It makes it, it does make it exciting. Yeah. It really does. And so, um, you know, if Simeon and Seeger can, you know, kind of get back on track, Mitch Garver's been good. Cole Calhoun's been good. Um, so you got that. I, I love the blend of like, like established, established veterans, like guys who have like legit track records, which mm-hmm. Seeger and Simeon have not performed numbers wise up to what they want to at this point in time, but their track record indicates that they're going to. So having these, seriously established veterans, even Mitch Garver and Cole Calhoun. I mean, you've got like legit established guys. And then you interject this like young, super eager, yeah. super Somebody talented, like trying to prove themselves exactly. at this level. And they've been waiting and for so this chance their whole life. And I, I think yeah. that, I think that they're, I think it's a smart move on the front office's part to kind of start mixing in these, these guys here and there. And then of course, Martin Perez is just nuts. I mean, it's he's yeah. stupid. It's ridiculous what he's doing. Um, he had a bad outing the other day and, or gave up two runs and in six innings. I mean, he didn't have his best stuff, but if that's a bad outing, two runs and in six innings, I mean, especially the way things are going right now in baseball, like I'm in like, yeah. you're, you're, and that's like a huge piece that it's a huge Rangers piece need. Have, they needed someone to emerge to have that anchor the picture. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, exactly. So it's exciting that they, you know, they did June has not been, May was great. 
June so far. It's early, but it has not been off to the best start. So they need to kind of really get some momentum going yeah. in June. I wanted to ask you about um, Josh Smith. Yeah. Because I saw, I don't know, I saw him and I started going down some little rabbit hole on him and found the like vlog that oh, yeah. he and his wife do. Getting smithy, smitty with it. Getting, yeah. And so I ended up like watching, I don't know, 30 minutes of it. Of, they're like, adorable. They're so cute. They and, are like, adorable. It, it, it was cool to see the minor league like behind the scenes of, yeah. of how they have like four couples in a house you know it's like real world yeah. baseball yeah um, but she was so precious and like just had all this stuff packed and ready to go and this was before he'd gotten the call up so I was just thinking oh my god they've got to be so excited to finally get the call up to the yeah. big league level because the one I was watching uh was when they got the call up to the ref rider or no to uh round, round rock. rock to round yeah. rock um so that that was really cool. And if if people don't know about it yet, they, they should go check it out because yeah, you can Smitty with And it. he's like, it's not just his wife, it's him. He's oh, like he's, in. he's oh, like yeah. they're, what kids are yeah, doing they're, these days. They're, they're adorable. Vlogging. Right. That's what and they've and they've I mean they're they'll be very successful with it. Like because yeah. they're they're personable, they're I mean, they're just adorable. Yeah. But she did one on his big league debut day uh-huh. and it was so funny. I went and watched it and um she, She's talking, she's talking about me Oh, and she's, cause I interviewed her in game. Well, so first of all, I was trying to figure out where they were sitting. Uh-huh. Usually our, um, our head of travel, Josh Shelton is the one who gets tickets for the players. Like that's his thing. Yeah. And, um, so I text Josh and I'm like, Hey, where are, where is Josh Smith's family sitting? He's like, I don't know. They bought their own tickets. So I hadn't gotten a chance. I, I, I did not want to bother Josh, but I was like, he was like coming off the field pregame and I was like, Hey, do you know where your, your wife and family are? And he's like, I don't. And he's like, here's Claire's number. So he, I just text Claire and I'm like, Hey, this is Emily. Josh gave me your number. Hope it's okay. Would you mind telling me where you guys are sitting for the broadcast? So we showed them all throughout the broadcast there. She's so excited. They're adorable, whatever. And so then once he goes three for four, like I was like, we've got to talk to Yes. Her. So I go up and I didn't text her to let her know I was coming. So I go up and I do an interview with her, uh, you know, for the broadcast. And she did, she did fantastic. But in the blog, like recap or whatever, or vlog, she was like, and y'all, this lady like straight up came up, like all professional with a microphone and everything walking through the stands. And I'm like, oh my God, she thinks I'm so old. <laughs> this old lady. This, she's like, y'all, this lady, like, the, like, I mean, it just was like, oh God. Wait, it yeah. is crazy when they're like, what, 20? Oh yeah, like, like 25, 20, yes. I'm old enough to be their mom. Yes. Like legit. Yeah. Um, but you know, she was so excited probably that she that was, she had wanted no to talk to her about I was, him. But yeah. yeah, she was excited, but I just love how she was like, and y'all this lady, like straight <laughs> professional lady comes up. <laughs> I'm going to have to go listen to and that. I was like, oh, if you only know how unprofessional I am now. Yeah. But anyway, it was super fun. They're an adorable couple. Um, and it, I, yeah, it's, I just, Oh, I hope so bad. The Rangers can just, let's just get back to 500. They let's, will. Let's flirt with it some more. Let's have some fun with 500. Let's have some know. fun with 500. Let's hang around a little bit. So hang when out. they're gone, you're not, you're not, I'm not, but I am. And I'll have, a, we'll have to talk about it next week. I'm going, Henry and I are going to speak to the tech football team. Um, cool. This week. Yeah. Wow. I'm taking Henry with me. I'm super excited. So Joey McGuire, who's the new head coach there. Yeah. I've known him for a long time when I covered high school football was the head coach at Cedar Hill for a long time, super fired up about him being our head coach. And, uh-huh. um, so we have mutual friends and we've known each other for a while. And so we were talking about it at a, a 40th birthday party actually that I went to in Lubbock. And I was like, I'd love to come anytime you ever need me or whatever. And so he's like, let's do it. And so I'm going to go talk to him about social media and, um, Good also you. too, just like, you know, in general media, like, but also too, like, I just, am I'm fired up about him. Um, he's really trying to like bring back, you know, like tradition, not even trip, but recognize, I mean, obviously tech doesn't have the most storied program, but mm-hmm. he's trying to really instill like this sense of pride and the program and the people who helped to build it, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And so I'm really, really excited to go and, and talk to the guys, um, this week in Lubbock. So yeah, that'll be fun. You're going to give a big speech, uh, speech, speech, speech. I just have bullet points. I don't I can't do speeches, but I have a, bu- I have, a I, have a, I have like an outline of things. That yeah. I wanna well, say. you would know you're going to be a great yeah. person to talk to them about all of that. That's um, awesome. okay. Let's talk about what is on your feed. Yes. What is on your feed brought to us by globe life. The job market right now is different. It's a very different landscape than it used to be. And whether you're attempting to balance work and home life or find a career that aligns with your goals and needs, 
it is a lot to juggle. If you're looking for a career path that offers a flexible schedule, the ability to make a difference, and the independence to build your own business, take a look at Globe Life. Anyone watching the Texas Rangers play has seen the name Globe Life, but may not know how much opportunity is there and how many successful women thrive in their careers with Globe Life. If you've never considered the insurance industry, you should know a growing number of women are finding true success in it. Globe Life has been around for generations and prides itself on its commitment to make tomorrow better. With virtual and in-person business models, you can find success wherever you are. If you want to be paid what you're worth and keep a flexible schedule and find meaning in your career while being engaged in what matters most at home, reach out to Globe Life today at globelifeagents.com. It could change your trajectory in a way you never thought possible. That is globelifeagents.com to discover what a career at Globe Life can do for you. Okay, so what's on your feed? This is a meme or a, what is it, a gif or a meme or a gif or a whatever that's it's, been going around on social media. And so one of our great listeners tagged us. Did you see that? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. Um, because I had heard, maybe heard about it, but then one of our, we should give him props. We'll look it up in a minute, but pointed it out to us, um, this amazing clip, which I'm going to see if with the wonders of technology, if I can play yeah. it. this awesome clip. There it is. Okay. So this is Kate Middleton, right? Yes. It's Kate Middleton with her son at a sporting event or he, he's, so he's okay. He's yeah. Like jacking with his sister. Like yes. he's just being a total pilsner. Like they're fighting, uh, oh, pulling her hair. Pulling the hair, he is sucking his thumb, um, like making the jubilee, doing the, you know, put my thumbs in my ears and wag my fingers and stick my tongue out. Like he's doing all the things. And that has been like just all over Twitter because it's freaking hilarious because it's Kate Middleton. So he's four years old and he's what? Is he a prince? Uh, 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 Yeah. Prince Louis. A duke? It's it's Prince Louis or Louis? Louis. Louis. It's gotta be Louis. It's gotta be Louis. Yeah. Um, so that's her youngest, a four-year-old, and uh, it was the Jubilee Pageant Parade on the Buckingham Palace Mall. So that's one of those things. There's, I don't really understand the whole Jubilee. I don't understand anything <laughs> about the royal family. But I was like watching that clip. I was getting like anxiety because if it was me, I would just yell at that child. And you know, there's certain things you want to do, but you you talk about parenting on a stage. Oh yeah. Like sometimes we say, my friends and I all talk about like, if you're and even this weekend when I was with seven other kids and three couples in a house, like, you know, any, you just wonder if people are like watching and like critiquing your parenting style, um, which people do whether they want to or admit it or not. Talk about parenting on a stage. Kate Middleton has oh, to yeah. parent in front of the whole freaking world. And I think we can all relate to a little pipsqueak little boy that's just uh-huh. um, trying to cause cause havoc in any way that he can. But this, like to bring back this is oh, kind of awesome. Amazing. Like when's the last time you well, saw this? And we'll have to ask my kids when we bring him in here in a minute. If yes. they, if that's a thing, if they know that, if yeah. they, uh, yeah, I don't know if, I don't think it is a thing anymore. It's like, but yeah, just, it just goes to show. Yeah. Cause I'm the same way. Like. You know, I mean, you know, it's when you're in public, you know, you parent a little differently. Yes. You might stay a little more composed than you do at home Yes, and all that kind of stuff. But when, can you imagine how exhausting that must be to be Kate Middleton? Like <laughs> she's so just sitting exhausting. There, like I'm watching it here on my computer and she's just sitting there like so prim and proper. Right. And it kind of cuts her eyes over and she's like, Ugh. yeah, you know, she just wants to grab him and be like, stop yes. it. Yeah. Like, you know, but she can't. I can't. I can't imagine anything more in- exhausting than being the queen of something, <laughs> the queen of something, or, or just the, like, she's a, is she a queen or is she a princess? She's a, she's the duchess of Sussex. Oh, of course she is. Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, so yeah, like anyway, better her than me. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'd fly very well in the Royal family. <laughs> well, you'd be I, like Meghan Markle. I don't, you would have just like said, yeah, F been this. Like, peace out. <laughs> I'm going I'm back out. to LA and yeah. I'm bringing you with me. Um, that's some serious love right there. Yeah. What's his name? Harry. Yeah. Prince Harry. Yeah. He must really love her. Yeah. Or but he, he must I just think not he be into the like whole royalty thing either. Like we're talking about, like, it's just yeah, it to have awful. Like whenever she, whenever they did on... their marriage or, or what did they do? They did something. I remember people being like, Oh, this is so magical. And that's what I dreamed of when I was little. Like I was like, I can't think of anything worse yeah. than being in that situation. That would be awful. I know. But like, you know, like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe 
Uh, maybe it's maybe uh, maybe everyone's different. I mean, well, I know everyone's different, but I feel like there are a lot of women who still like are into that, which is great. Cool. You do you. What princesses? Well, I mean, like that whole like, I don't know, like lifestyle. <laughs> I don't like I. <laughs> Would you want to be royalty? Uh, no, not. I, it no, but I mean, there's worse things. There are worse things, of course. But yeah. Yeah. What a way Just to have everyone in the world. Like when she had her first baby and everyone's just waiting. Like, what are you going to name it? And then there were like thousands uh, of people waiting outside for her to present the baby like Simba stop. on the yeah, Lion King. It's just and, like, uh, uh, she does seem like. What a whip. She's got to just feel a little bit trapped. Like, can you really even be yourself? No. Could, she couldn't do this. Like, she couldn't be like us. She Maybe, couldn't have a podcast. Do you, think, do you think she wants to come on the mom game? She should. I would love to know what she's thinking. We could break down the video. In this video and love in it. life. Like, when you can't. Life and When general. you got to hold so much shit back because you could uh, ruin the reputation of the whole royal family. Yes. If you don't. But yeah, that one made me laugh. And someone did send it to us on the mom game. It was very relevant yeah. for us here. Um, okay, so speaking, speaking of, of not holding shit back, let's, or yeah, whatever. Maybe we should hold some shit back because um, my kids are going to join us. Yes. My kids are coming. They're coming right now. All right, now we are so lucky to be joined by a couple of very special guests that were very hard to secure for this hard-hitting interview. We have Henry and Hattie McCoy on Woo! the Mom Game today. Welcome. Welcome. Hattie came so prepared in her Mom Game t-shirt, and she also has a picture here that I have to have you show off, Hattie, because it is so cute. Can you show everybody Turn on it. the camera? She's working on a new logo for us, the mom game with the microphone. It looks awesome. Good job, hats. Good job. I know. You're so welcome. we talked about summertime and, and child care calendars uh -huh. and, so, having, yeah. <laughs> and having kids um, home for for summer break. So y'all tell me when when summer break hits. What are your feelings? What do you do? You get excited? Are you glad that school is over? Do you miss school? Do you miss your friends? How do y'all feel about summertime? Henry, you go first. Henry first. I like it. You like summertime? Yeah. Okay. But why do you like it? I mean, like, because toward the end of the year, do you get stressed out? No. Yeah, bull. You absolutely get stressed <laughs> no, out. Okay. What what grade are each of you guys in? Towards the end of the year. Or yeah. did you just finish? No, I don't. Oh. Okay. So whatever. Henry, what grade did you just finish? Six. Uh, no. <laughs> did you forget? He just finished fourth. fourth grade. Fourth grade. Okay. And Hattie, what grade did you just finish? I finished um, First, right? no second grade, but I was supposed to be in third grade. Okay. It's, and they weren't like supposed, writer. Yes. yes. So they both have summer birthdays. Uh -huh. So they didn't start kindergarten until they were six. Okay. Hers is, his is end of July. Hers is mid June. She definitely could have gone. I wanted a year between them. I did not want... Him in first grade, her in kindergarten. Right. They are all, they literally tried to kill themselves, kill each other on a daily yeah. basis. <laughs> Don't do that, guys. And so I needed space yeah. between them. I hear you. Well, and also too, I was thinking, you know, long-term, like when he graduates and I'm going to be super sad and he goes off to college and then at least I'll have one year where, you know, I kind of transition. Can I help you, Hattie? I might be happy when he graduates. Are you? Okay. Because you're going to have some alone time at home with mom and dad. Yeah. I already am the favorite child though. That is not. So tell me tell me why you think that. Um <laughs> What are you what are your reasons for claiming to be the favorite child? Because Henry only has a bike and I have a moped, an electric scooter, <laughs> two two other scooters and a bike. So you think that's because you're the favorite. But that. tell tell him who bought you the scooter. Oh, the you. moped. Who bought you the moped? Henry. Henry, are you serious? Yes. That's awesome. You saved up your money and bought her a moped? Not really. Yes, oh. you did. From cleaning b trash bins. Yeah. Clean kind up. of. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Are you, are you getting a little nervous? for the? Don't worry. It's just us. We're just chit-chatting. I did see that, though. What was that? Last summer? You're the job. Last summer. The job that you started, can you tell us about that? Because Talk that is so cool. What What is your job that you were doing? Um, I just power wash. Yeah, what stuff. do you power wash? Driveways. Driveways. Trash bins. And so you go around the neighborhood? I go all around Fort Worth, usually. What's your What's the business name called? Ends Bins. 
Hens bins. I love it. So is Hens bins um, still a thing? Kind of. We haven't started it back up yet. We're waiting yeah. for, yeah. That's awesome, yeah, the though. Right time. That's yeah. awesome, though, to come up he's with a little, that. And... He's a little entrepreneur. He is. Yeah, he's always. And what do we call this? Like, what are you doing? Are <laughs> yeah, you... and what? What do you call that? She's putting crayons in her ears. Hey, we had a question. Do kids still do this? Hattie does. Do you still do yep. this yep. to people? Yes, yes, oh. yes. Oh, I, so we we have a thing called bunny ears, mm-hmm. and you go like, like that to someone, and then there's, um, there's, um, and then there's, um, there's, um. Yeah, what else? What other kind of tricky things that y'all like to do? There's these. Like, like antlers? No, you, we don't call them those. Oh, what is it? Oh, um, we call them moose ears. Okay. So listen to this story. So this is, this is when you, your kids are starting to, oh, yeah, or, I'm going to well, tell the cap, no cap story. So we're in the car the other day and I said something <laughs> and the kids were like, that, that's cap, mom, that's cap. And I'm like, do you not say that? I know you're trying to say crap and you're just oh. you know, mixing it up, but you're not, like, you're not going to stop. You're not going to fool me. Like I, you're not saying cap as a way to get around saying crap. Uh huh. And they're like, oh, you're so lame. Like that's not even what it means. It means lie. Cap is lie. And I was like, yeah, th- good one. So sure enough, Hattie is like, give me your phone. So she gets on my phone and Google whatever. So this have your kids don't say it. They're too young. Yeah. But it is. They're still really into potty humor. It's cap. Oh, please. So are these. It, oh. No, we're not. This one. Oh, that one. So, so <laughs> cap and cap is like, it is. Cap is a lie. So, it is. Ca- right. I didn't know that. So that's cap. That's a lie. Okay. But, or if you want to say like, oh, no, no lie. No lie. No cap. Huh. Like I went here. No, no. And Henry knew that. No, like, the, oh, they both knew it. Wow. Like an eight year old. Well, I, I don't sound like an eight year old. So this is the <laughs> things now heard. that I'm starting to learn. You we need know, to keep a running list. What the kids are saying the mom these game. days. What do y'all think when like your mom tries to use the the words that that y'all say and we try to talk cool and be cool? Is it just embarrassing? Um. So on the way here, um, she puts on this like rap song and she starts she starts like singing. Uh huh. And and there. And um. And what rap song was it? Do you remember? Um. Seven seven seven. seven, seven. seven. What's that? How's that go? It's it's a song, and 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 I don't. It's a jam. Sunshine. You can't. You can't keep saying that. Sunshine on me. You can't. Sunshine on me. She can't say it's a jam. Yeah. No. Because it's embarrassing. Yeah. What do y'all say? What do y'all say about a song that you like? What do y'all call it? A bop. A bop. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. Like this, this song bops or yeah, that's a thing. Is it not? No. Oh, what do you call a song that you like? Um, do you say jam? A song. Oh, just a song. Yeah. It doesn't need anything else. I got it. What's what what's what's some funny stories about mommy? Oh, oh, I know, I know. One yeah, time, talk close to the mic. One time, she was with her friends, and then she had to go to jail for a night. Okay. <laughs> I was 20 years old. Why do you do this? Why are you doing this? Patty just knows how to cut to the chase, man. You know exactly what's going to get your mom oh. like upset, don't you? Did you have you told anyone at school that? Did you, I mean, oh, that's a good question. I wonder that. I wonder, um, like, teachers hear so much about us, don't they? Oh, do y'all yeah. tell your teachers like a lot about your parents yeah. and like things that you yeah, do at home? Well, one time good for it you, was, Henry. That's a good answer. One time it was free dress, and and uh-huh. um and I was wearing a Rangers shirt, and um my teacher she asked me uh, if I'm a big fan of the Rangers, and then she and then I told her my mom was famous and she was on TV, and <laughs> and and then and then she and then then she recognized the name oh she did <sighs> because she is because she is famous hattie that reminds me um i saw the 
little project that you did for school where you wrote about what you wanted to be when you grow up and, and what you want to do in your future. Yeah. And so are you thinking that you want to maybe be a sports reporter? Yeah. Yeah. And so what's your plan? Um, well, first I can ask um, Woody because it will be really easy to get a job. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, sure. You think you could work for the Rangers? Yeah. Yeah. And if not, I can, I can go to the Yankees or the A's. Uh huh. You can call up your friends over there. Yeah. Who are your friends over with those teams? Um, Joey and Elvis. Henry, you think they'll be? You think they'll be gone? Are you gonna make it over here? Move your arms. Some people eyes. just. Some people aren't cut out for the camera. It's okay. Oh, it's it's an interesting uh, thing to be. Are you have having the an allergy on attack? You? Yes. <laughs> okay, Henry, tell us about what you want to be when you grow up. I don't, I don't know. Do you want to be a baseball player or so, yeah. or something else? Stop it being like My that. Eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it too bright? No, he has allergies. Oh. Like um, ridiculous allergies. To like everything? Uh, what, are, what are you? Henry, please, dude. Okay, Stop. last thing. Yes. So tell We're us, wrapping up. Tell us. Um, We're wrapping up. I want to know about the awards that you guys got at school. Oh, yeah. What were those? Henry, Henry, you Henry can you tell us about it? It looked like a really what cool award. The award. Like the end of the school year. Which ones? She's she's sending an SOS. Oh, she, no, SOS. She, she it wrote, says, hi, daddy. Hi, daddy. Um, tell them about the Ann Brandon Award. Oh, I don't know anything about it. Okay. You don't know anything about it. Well, clearly Henry is not into this. <laughs> this is, I don't like being on camera. Okay, well, you don't have That's to be okay. anymore. You can go in the other room. No, I want to stay. Okay, you want to stay here and rub your eyes? Yeah. Okay, all right, sounds fun. Henry, is baseball your favorite sport, yes. like, that you think you're going to keep on playing as long as you possibly can? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I want to ask you, I want to ask you guys this. Oh, that's sweet, Hats. Got a high daddy sign in there. Um, okay, so we have this conversation. Tell Miss Julie, like, every year after the season, we all have a conversation as a family about what? If you're getting another job or not? If I'm... No. Any other job or not. If I'm going to retire. Yeah, and it's always a no every year. <laughs> so long why is it? Wait, a no from me or a no from y'all? You're not retiring. Okay, why? You don't want her to, no, Henry? Not. Talking to the microphone, I can't hear you. Why don't you She's want me to retire? She's not going to retire. Why do you not um, want me to I want to Why don't you want me to retire? Because. That's why. I like seeing the players, and I can't do that when you're retired. <laughs> is it, it's cooler to see the players yeah. than to have mom. <laughs> I love it. What do, you, do you want mom at home, or do you want to see the players? You are home. I for know, six I know. months of. That's know. true. No, she gets true. that off season. Hey, well, that's awesome to have their support. What are What are your thoughts? Do you think your mom has a very cool job, Hattie? What do you think about her job? I think that she has a cool job because. Um, Cause, cause she, cause she, cause she, because you, do you like meeting the players too? Yeah. Yeah. And you like going to the games? Yeah. And the, did that part of that, um, make you want to form a softball team called the Dirt Divas? Yeah. Because you've watched baseball for so long? Yeah. Yeah. I also, I, one thing about me in softball is that I hit dingers. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good to hit a dinger? Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, that's, yeah, that's some cap. That's some that's cap. Some cap. Man, Henry. y'all are the coolest kids. Okay. Y'all are fun. Well, you guys, I, th I appreciate you guys coming on the mom game. <laughs> Do you have some big camps loaded up for this summer? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like going to camps and meeting new people, doing new fun things? Yeah. Or would you rather just stay home and bug your mom? Um, That's a hard one. <laughs> a little bit of both. The perfect summer is a little bit of both, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Oh, I know. Okay. I think this has run its course. <laughs> we got well, I'm not done. We got to discuss the fact that mommy got arrested when she was 20. <laughs> Well, now you know what not to do, Hattie. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Wait, but I'm not done. Okay, okay you, you hey, Patty, you have the floor. Henry, what do you want to talk about? Henry, move. You have the floor. Um. Bye, everybody. Bye, Henry. You can just ask me questions. <laughs> oh. Let's do three questions and then it'll be five, time to. Five. Excuse me. Five. Oh, if you're going to tell something embarrassing about me, I'm going to tell something embarrassing about you. No. No. Yeah. No. Did, what's, what kind of, like, how does your mom act when she gets really mad? Can you do an impression of her? What does she do? Can I say a bad word then? No. <laughs> say, do it without saying a bad word. Uh, well, if she says bad words when she was mad. I don't <laughs> say a ton of bad words when, when I'm mad. When it gets out, you're like, okay. oh, no. <laughs> What do you do your impression of her? What's her face look like when she gets mad? Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that is not what I do. I have to get my face really red. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Emily. <laughs> okay, so now it's red. Now what? Who let the dog out? <laughs> That was really good, Hattie. Yeah. I like it. And she even had to prepare. Oh, my face red. No, that you're right. That is the, that, that, is he getting out? Like in oh. going, she's a runner. I understand it now. Yeah, it literally, it, it's the one thing that just, it completely sends me because into Because if she goes and like jumps on somebody or bites somebody or whatever, what? like then I always say, I always tell the kids like you can't open the door because if Belle gets in trouble, she's going to dog jail. Yes. Right? right? That's why we can't let the dogs out. No. We don't want our doggies to go to jail. Hattie, Hattie, uh, what's the funniest face that you can make? Hmm. Like if you were going to make your funniest face for whatever reason, what would it be? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay, I know, I know. Okay. It'll make me laugh. Okay, we like to laugh here on our show. Go. <laughs> That's a good funny. Okay, face. last. Tell Miss Julie your hidden talent. Oh yeah, what's that? Oh yeah, I can burp. You can burp on command. Oh, yeah, it's like if if we like asked you man. to burp right now, you could. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. <clears throat> oh my gosh, Harry! That's so tame. <laughs> you should hear this. You should hear it. Uh, it's. Can you burp the alphabet? A. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, this you has been so awesome. fun. So glad. I kind of had a feeling this is the way it would go where Henry is be. That was the embarrassing thing. I don't have any embarrassing stories other than you burping like a man. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. That's so one, how do Patty. we have to end with, since Henry bailed on us, you don't know because you don't watch the mom game, but we end every show by looking into our camera and yours is right there. And you throw up the peace signs and you say mom game out. Which one? The one straight in front of you. That one? Yep. Mm -hmm. You ready? One. Yeah, we'll be back next week. Yeah, we'll be back next week. Uh, um, no kids will be here, but there will be other people here. Yeah. We'll be here. Who's That's what coming? matters. Um, it's a secret. Yep, it's all secret. Why? Yeah, we don't know. I don't know the schedule, off, on, honestly. Off the Why? Top of Who's coming? I don't know. <laughs> is it, is She's it, turning red, Hattie. Uh, She's turning red know. again. Is it? Is it? Hold on. Is it celebrity? No, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Is it girl or a boy? I don't know. Don't, I don't have the schedule know. in front of me. It might just be us. It might just be us. It might just be us. Okay. That's All right, Hattie, Hattie, look into your camera. Oh, real quick. I was going to ask her. Oh, what? what is, do you know what a podcast is? Like, do you know what this is? Yeah. What is it? Where you talk about things that drive you crazy. Uh-huh. Fair enough. And then people can watch it? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much what we do here on the mom yeah. game. Does daddy watch it? No. I don't think then so. Then why did I write that? <laughs> <laughs> it was a I good try. We'll, we'll, we'll tell him. Picture of we'll it. I bet he'll watch this episode since yeah. you're on okay. it. Okay. Okay. Now All right. Look at the camera. Sign off. Sign off. Ready? One, two, three. Mom game out. Say it, Hats. Mom game out. Mom game out. Mom game out.